Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here playing Call of Duty World War II Zombies Mode. I'm going to be showing you how to build a Tesla gun, which is also the first step in getting the Easter egg done. So go to the village square from the beginning and you can locate the small little generator, which has three cables coming out from it that are connected to three separate valves. You'll need to go up to these valves and turn them all the way. Getting hit by a zombie will stop your progress, so be safe here. Now, out of the three valves, two of them are found in the village square, but one of them will require you to get a door to go through in order to access. Then return to the village square, and you can now activate the pilot light in the middle, which will clear the sewers with a giant fireball, kill the zombies that come out. After that, you can drop down into that sewer hole and continue up the path in order to activate the power to the village square using this large machine which will open the gate and connect you back to the center. Next up, you'll want to return to the middle and raise enough funds to open up this large vault door to the command room. Once you open it up, we can go inside, and this is the general area right in the middle. And as soon as you enter, you do want to turn the crank in order to fully open this device. After you've turned the crank, it's now time to raise enough jolts in order to open up the doors to the morgue and the laboratory on the left and right side of the crank if you're facing from the top to the bottom. And you can share your jolts with your partner here by using left on the d-pad to drop some money for them. And I would highly recommend that you have weapons that you're comfortable with as things tend to get a little bit difficult here. Now inside of each one of these rooms is a small fuse box and you'll need to interact with both of them in a limited amount of time. Once you activate the first one, a timer starts and you have to activate the second one before that timer ends. Find one fuse box in the morgue and one fuse box in the laboratory. Afterwards, you can return back to the center area and you'll want to raise enough funds to now open up the door to the salt mine, which is the main door. That door wasn't available to us until we activated those fuses, however. Go all the way to the bottom of the salt mine in order to find the Emperor's Chamber, and at the very back, you'll see a large machine which you can activate called the Hilt. As you activate it, a red ring will appear around it, and you will have to kill zombies inside of this ring in order to charge it. You can tell that zombies are charging the machine with a large beam of electricity that connects to the machine when they die, and you need to kill roughly 20 or 30 of them to fully power the machine as you can see on screen. Once the machine is fully powered, we can then return to the command room, go to the top of the steps, and interact with the button in order to turn on the transfer device. Now once the transfer device is turned on, you'll see that giant red beam in the middle of the map above where we turned the crank earlier, and it'll either move to the laboratory or the morgue. It seems to be a little bit random, but we have to do it both ways anyways, so there's not really a certain way you're hoping for. For us, it went to the laboratory first. What we need to do is follow that beam of light down the hallway, make sure we're charging it as it's approaching the very end. Once it reaches the very end, a machine will power up. Roughly 20 seconds later, it'll deposit an item for the Tesla gun. And in the laboratory, it is the gun barrel. Now, after you do that, return to the middle area and wait for the device to follow you back. And the device will start going the opposite way from the first time. For us, that would be the morgue. And we're going to rinse and repeat this process, killing zombies inside of the light to charge it until it reaches the very end of the path. In the morgue, once you reach the end of the path, some liquid will drain out and the machine will produce the Tesla gun core. Once you've attained both parts, you can return to the command room, go up the steps and find where you can deposit them not far from the button that activated the transfer device. Once you place both of the parts onto the gun model and the transfer device connects, you can hold the button now to pick up the Tesla gun, swapping out the gun that you're currently holding for it. So keep that in mind. As soon as you do that, the achievement or trophy will unlock if it's your first time, and you should be able to pick up the gun and play with it. It's actually a lot of fun to use. It kind of freezes and paralyzes enemies in their tracks, and then they will eventually kind of explode and die, and it's very useful against hordes of zombies. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I will be working on further Call of Duty World War II Zombies guides. Drop a like if the video was useful. Subscribe for future content. And hopefully I see you guys next time. Special thanks to the amazing people on Patreon for supporting the show. Peace.